I think one of the, the greatest shocks that I've had with prayer was uh, the discovery that um, it doesn't always work the way that I want it to. That there are miracles, but there are also unmiracles. And um, so f for me, it, a lot of it's been to do with my wife's uh, health issues and ongoing struggle with epilepsy. Although she, she's doing a lot better now. And, um, you know, watching consistent seizures and asking God to make them stop and that not working and then having to process that. I think it's really comforting to realize how honest the Bible is about that reality in all of our lives. Um, the word Israel means the struggle. Half to two thirds of the Psalms are lament, they're not happy, clappy. Jesus himself had three unanswered prayers, one of which is still unanswered to this day, which is that the church would be united. So, you know, we, we need to be honest about unanswered prayer as well as answered prayers. And I find as leaders, you know, if we are honest about our disappointments, we will build faith, we won't destroy it, and people will trust us more when we talk about the miracles and the good stuff that happens. And um, I mean, I, I visited a large church in Florida where the pastor's wife had died of cancer, but the whole church had risen up in prayer, fasted, and it hadn't worked. And because the pastor was hurting, I don't blame him for this at all, he had never processed that with the church. He'd never taught them. He'd never shepherded them through that pain. It was just brushed under the carpet. And as a result, it was almost impossible to get that church raising their faith for prayer again. Because until we help people process their disappointments in prayer, there'll always be a kind of a ceiling on their faith level. So as leaders, we have to shepherd people through disappointments as well as celebrating victories.